Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your tarot reading for the month of July of 2021. Thank you all so very much for, for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is so wonderful to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So, general energy reading for your month of July 2021. Yeah, first things first, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, all right, Cappy? So please make sure to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also understand that we could potentially be speaking to a cross watcher here. So if it resonates for you in terms of reversing the roles or flipping the roles, then take it as it resonates, yeah? Also, <clears throat> this is a fairly timeless reading. Now, even though we are channeling energies and messages for the month of July, this could resonate for you at any time. So even if you have stumbled upon this reading months later and it still resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment, yeah? Uh, as always, I highly recommend that you guys please like, share, subscribe, and comment, yeah? To all my new subscribers, welcome! I love you guys. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and consider subscribing because that's going to get you first dibs on my on all of the postings that we put up here on Divine Conversations. For those of you that have subscribed, you're awesome. Thank you for being here. And also, please make sure to leave your comments down in the comments section in terms of how it is you truly feel and what it is you're going through in relation to these energies. This is the kind of Divine Conversations after all. Let's have a conversation about it, guys. Yeah. Um, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that uh, in limited quantity this month, but I am available. Check the information in the description box below. That'll give you my email address and a bunch of the listings or a, a, a few of the options, the main options that I offer for a personal reading. Also, I highly recommend you check out Patreon, yeah? Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. Lots of great stuff going on there. <sighs> All right, Capricorn, let's get into this. So I really do feel like for the most part, we're talking about some sort of relationship energies for some of you. Uh, for others of you, this is a situation in which you are working on building something right now. And, when I, and, and the energies that I'm getting from this for you, Capricorn, is um, this is like this is like you wanting to protect a newborn. Now, that could be literal for you if you have just... You know, if you just uh, had a child, congratulations, yay. Um, and, and so, but it doesn't feel, it doesn't necessarily have to be that. For the most part, I don't feel like that's, that's what this is. This is either you working on self-mastery, uh, working on yourself, building a foundation within yourself, or uh, preserving and conserving a certain foundation that you're working on in yourself. Or this could actually be a business or something that you're physically working on building or creating. And there's a strong level uh, or a strong energy of you holding on to that and defending it. But it's not like you're holding on to it in a, out of a lack of mentality sort of energy. Um, even though we have a, t a card that could represent that, it just feels like you're still in the beginning, the fledgling stages, the building stages of this for yourself, and you're doing everything you can to, to protect it and defend it. I did just hear, as I was speaking through that, I did just hear the, a protective mother. <clears throat> So you could be a feminine energy for the most part. You know, most of the people that view my channel here are of the feminine uh, persuasion, whether that be actual an actual woman or a, a man who is more on the feminine side. Doesn't literally does not have to be that way. And that also that phrase of a, of a protective mother could just really be a figure of speech. Um, I do think it's an important phrase though because it does feel like you're defending whatever it is you're building or, or creating. You're you're defending it with. A good strong a, a, a strong amount of vigor okay the cards you have here for your pre-shuffle are the three of pentacles the four of pentacles and the seven of wands so the three of pentacles is the energy of building something it's also an energy of self-mastery the four of pentacles is holding on to something to a foundation or preserving something the four of pentacles can be a little bit of a negative energy sometimes because it can be like a miserly or a hoarding type energy and maybe this could Maybe this could seem like a little bit of hoarding right now, but it's with intentions to preserve. That's what I'm hearing for you, Capricorn. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Queen of Swords, okay? So what I feel like is going on here, Capricorn, is you are very balanced. You are very harmonious. harmonious. You, are very, uh, you are very balanced and harmonious, and your line of defense 
or your defensive actions or your defensive position is coming from that place of balance, harmony, and union. Okay. Now, I did dive down the rabbit hole a little bit, uh, Capricorn, just to going down the bottom of the deck. And then, and that's actually where the energies of a romantic relationship started to come to focus here. Because underneath Temperance, you have the Three of Swords to the Six of Cups, the Knight of Cups with the Ace of Wands, but then you have the Moon to the Nine of Swords to the Three of Wands. Okay, so either this is you having learned from past pain and heartbreak and are now moving forward with a heart-centered focus and inspiration, okay, Three of Swords, Six of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands, and there may be some illusions around you or just that things are, aren't, aren't clear as day. Uh, things are not as they seem with the moon energy here, which is then leading to some fears, some... I did just hear self-deprecating activities. Capricorn it has, has a Capricorn energies have a tendency to slip into that in a very negative state. Um, <clears throat> well, but there could be illusionary fears here. But they're, again, they're illusion. Okay, the moon to the nine of swords. It's an illusion. All right, but I don't feel like that's stopping you on your path. You're continuing to move forward. Now, in terms of a relationship, what I'm feeling here is you are in the state of rebuilding yourself. Okay, holding your center, holding your ground, and really defending yourself against someone that may be trying to come back into your life. Again, holding your ground, and that's what the Queen of Swords. And in terms of a relationship here, Capricorn, I do feel like you reached a level of balance and security within yourself. Okay, temperance to the Three of Swords, and then you're defending yourself from that point, the Queen of Swords. This could be a divorce, but it feels like. There could there is an energy of potentially someone trying to come back and potentially that same person that you are now vigorously working on cutting out of your life. It feels like they may be trying to come back. Six of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands. Okay, it feels like they could someone from your past could be coming back, wanting to make another offer, coming back with all all kinds of passion and like whatnot, whatever. But this really just feels a, feels very strongly like sexual drive. With the Ace of Wands, they could be trying to play on your sense of sexuality or maybe the sexual relationship you had with each other. But it's an illusion, and I think you see quite clear that. You see that you see through that quite clearly, excuse me. You have the moon to the nine of swords and the three of wands. And in this situation for you, the nine of swords is representing the fear of not wanting to get back into that cycle. But then also the three of wands to the knight of wands. I'm sorry, the three of wands to the nine of wands is saying to me that there are some fears that are coming up. You're seeing through the illusion and what's helping you to stay grounded here is where it is you're moving on your path now, which is different from where you were when you were with this person or when you guys were involved before they got cut off. Okay. But but ultimately, the, the, the moral of your story or the moral of the uh, well, the point of this pre-shuffle energy here is I feel like you're really standing your ground, holding your own. And no matter what this physically or actually means for you, I really feel like you are working on building yourself up, whether this is self-worth, uh, which definitely could be connected to some sort of love uh, or romantic relationship that seems to be resurfacing at the moment. Um, but then also any a, a sense of like a, a personal business, okay, uh, an entrepreneurship endeavor or a business plan or something like that. You're you're holding your center, you're holding your foundation, and you're defending yourself while also building, okay. If this is resonating for you on a business situation, like a, like finances and stuff like that, um, there may be. I am picking up that there are some family members or maybe just people that are closest to you that might be trying to. I, I want to say read you the riot act um, or trying to distract you or trying to keep you from getting this off the ground or maybe they're not actually like working to keep you from doing this but they're expressing a bunch of fears yeah it's a lie it's a lie it's not coming from a place of truth it's not coming from a place of like serious critical thinking it's not coming from a place of we I, I mean they might be loving they might love you they might support you but I, again they're not speaking truthfully or they're not speaking from a place of, 
I want to say authenticity. I also want to say power. They're not speaking from a, a sense of truth or strength. They're speaking from fear, okay? And you have got to continue. Yeah, you've got to continue. The star underneath the star is the world, okay? To the queen of wands. Continue. Ooh, damn. To the king of wands and then the wheel of fortune, Capricorn. All right. Yeah, and the four of wands. Um, you have a good state of balance and union and harmony within yourself. And you've got to stay true to your focus. Don't let anybody distract you, okay? Do not let anybody distract you. All right, Capricorn? My cap cap caps. Okay, cap. Let's, uh, ooh, what's this? The moon in reverse. Good. You see through the illusions quite clearly. You sure do. You sure do see through the illusion. And you're not willing to engage with that. No, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to work. I'm not going to, yeah. Yeah, look, Capricorn, the moon came out in reverse. Underneath, uh, at the bottom of the deck is the four of cups to the tower and the devil. You are, and the eight of wands, you are definitely moving forward from some sort of toxic situation. Now, if this is in terms of someone that's coming back into your life, a past relationship that's coming back into your life, you see quite clearly through their bullshit, through their illusions, through their lies. Their, I want to hear their, I, I, what, not, I, I, what I just heard in, what I want to say is they're a snake in the grass and they are lying through their teeth and you know it. You see it quite clearly. You are absolutely bringing this tower energy, this devil. You're, no, you're having a tower moment in which you're turning, taking this devil energy and you're turning it around and saying, I'm not doing that any longer. And you're clearing this out of your way. Now, Capricorn, you are here in the devil, but like, I'm not sitting here trying to call you all devils. Okay. Like the devil is not necessarily representing you unless you're cross watching for a Capricorn who did you dirty. But the devil is also, is in this case, in this scenario, in this situation, the devil is representing the toxicity, the codependent ties, and anything from the past that just, like, doesn't want to let you go, okay? You have the power to get away from it, and that's what the tower is saying, and that's what I feel like is happening here. Yep, you do have the power to get away from it. There's the nine of pentacles, sovereignty, independence, standing on your own. I don't need a man! I was just... <laughs> I was just talking to one of my friends uh, before I started doing this, and um, we were just talking about stupid boy drama, and I was, and that, and I literally sang it just like that to her. I don't need a man. Like, no, I don't, I don't need that shit right now. You can keep it. Thanks, I'm not interested. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Capricorn, we're gonna get into the rest of this here. I'm gonna give this five shuffles, and we will see what else we have for you in terms of your month. Yes. One, definitely make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. That can definitely help you get a bigger picture, a fuller picture. This is two. Also your Venus sign, right? Because if you're looking for information on love or whatnot, that, that may help you quite, uh, quite a, a great deal, yeah? This is three. For my Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of July of 2021. This is four. And this is five. All right, Capricorn. We're going to cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Cappy. The Ten of Wands. All right. So you're burdened here. Um, and I feel like in terms of whatever it is you are building uh, or whatever it is you're working on developing, whether that be in yourself or external to you, um, you're doing this because you recognize the amount of burdens that have been on your shoulders all along, okay? For others of you, if this is resonating in terms of a romantic relationship, you are recognizing the burdens that this relationship carries, and you are working on no longer carrying that any longer, okay? You do have the Three of Cups underneath that. Underneath the Three of Cups is the Five of Wands, but then underneath the Five of Wands is the Ten of Cups. So... There's definitely a, a community energy here coming through with that Ten of Cups. For others of you, the Ten of Cups represents ultimately where you are wanting to get to um, and what it is you're building towards. Because, excuse me, guys, underneath the Ten of Cups is the Eight of Pentacles to the world. So you have this Ten of Wands energy in your overall energy, right? This is what you've been burdened with, burdened by. This is what you are carrying. And there's all there are definitely communal energies involved with this because again not only do you have not only do you have the ten of cups but you also have the three of cups okay three of cups is in this situation is representing some sort of hive mind mentality or some sort of 
collective or group consciousness. Um, but you are working towards your ultimate wish fulfillment, your ultimate goals here. And that's what the world is representing. The world is representing the end of the burden, some energies or the end of the strife. Okay. Whether this be uh, romantic or business or whatever for you. All right. Now I do, I am picking up Capricorn with the three of cups and the five of wands and, and also the ten of wands in your overall energy. There's definitely a strong energy of other people's opinions or some sort of communal mindset or communal reality or communal situation, whatever. I just feel like there are a bunch of people in your ear right now or there are a bunch of different opinions volleying for your attention. But what you need to really be focusing on right now, Capricorn, is you and what it is. I, I want to say the service that you bring to the collective. Um, maybe some of the burdens that you're carrying or experiencing are how you are showing up for the collective in ways that may be less than authentic for you, but it's what everybody's calling for. It's what everybody's volleying for. I feel like either you need to be or you are working your way out of that, um, or you just need to not listen to what everyone else has to say about it and focus on what it is, focus on and work towards what it is you truly want on an emotional level. Okay. All right, Capricorn, let's get into the rest of your reading here. So first half and second half of your reading. Yes. First half is going to look at the past up until this current energy, which does not necessarily have to be in July of 2021. Again, if you were watching this after the fact, long after whatever, in August even, and it resonates for you, then we're talking about the current moment at the time that you find this reading and it resonates for you. Yes. The second half of your reading is going to look at the current moment off into the future. Yeah? Excellent. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. You do have the Page of Swords. Um, I literally just heard somebody coming at you with some tomfoolery or coming at you with some sort of bullshit. The Page of Swords is, rep is kind of in this situation for you, Capricorn, is representing someone that is of a much less mature mindset or somebody that's coming at you with really trivial things that aren't even worth your time and attention. And they're just, this might be a last ditch effort on behalf of whomever it is is trying to get in and uh, weasel their way back into your energy. Let's say if this is a past relationship that's resurfacing or just anyone that seems to be in opposition with you. They're coming at you with really trivial, small, stupid shit. Or at least they have been because we're all, we're kind of talking about the past up until this current moment, right? Page of Swords is coupled with the Three of Pentacles. So, okay, I'm getting two things from this Capricorn. First thing I'm getting is someone else around you ha from your past, or maybe this has been an ongoing thing, has been coming at you with all these different, like really trivial, stupid questions or concerns about what it is you are building, okay? For others of you, this is representing you getting to the bottom of what it is you need to build, how it is you need to grow and expand if this is rep if the Three of Pentacles is representing a level of self-mastery for you, or doing some sort of market research for some sort of business opportunity or business plan that you're looking to put into place. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. In the first half of your reading, you have, ah, see, the Four of Cups. This is you not wanting to be involved any longer. This is you not, uh, okay, not taking the bait. You know what I'm I'm getting here now because the, we do have the three and the four of cups. I feel like there's some sort of communal energy that may be trying to offer you something. And you're like, no, I'm good. I don't want that. For some of you, I'm feeling like there's some sort of situation in which there may be some sort of lucrative opportunity that someone's trying to hand you, but I don't think you feel like it's that lucrative at all. This also kind of feels like an energy of, I don't, I'm not in it for the money. I'm not in it for the fame. I'm not in it for the fortune. Like, I don't want your, I don't want your empty promises is what I'm getting from the four of cups, which is, a, which is translating. I just heard self mastery. So this is, this might be a new level for you in terms of what it is you think you can, can can get from the community and doing that, doing something to get that versus doing something that is actually more authentic to you. Okay. Four of Cups is coupled with the star. 
you have a bigger dream, you have a bigger focus, you have bigger goals. There's something more. There's something about what you are being offered in this moment that just isn't good enough. Just isn't right. Like you literally have your eyes focused on something much bigger, much greater, much more fulfilling. And there's also a level of healing involved with this for you, Capricorn. And I feel like that, that, that healing that the star also represents, other than just like wish fulfillment or emotional or ultimate wish fulfillment on a soul level, there's also a level of healing that is connected to this, this energy of self-mastery that's kind of coming in to focus for you in this situation, okay? Your challenge, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading is the Two of Cups. No, I'm sorry, not the Two of Cups, the Two of Pentacles. Interesting that I said the Two of Cups and not the Two of Pentacles. I mean, literally, we, I was just focused on the four, three and Four of Cups, but okay. Um, but in terms of, well, the Two of Pentacles is representing for you a challenge in terms of weighing the past with the present and even the future. Figuring out which one is better, keeping with the past or staying with the future. I mean, I would say the, pa the past is the past. You got to leave it there. Let's focus on the future. Let's focus on where we're going now. And that's kind of the energy that I was getting for you, Capricorn, in your pre-shuffle with that three of wands. It's like, I don't, I don't care what we had. I don't care what you said to me yesterday. I don't care about all that bullshit. Where are we going now? What's happening now? What's my focus now? Where am I trying to get to now? And does that line up with what you are presenting me? I don't think it does, Capricorn. And it feels like your challenge here would really be doing what it needs to do, doing what it takes to get to have to stop juggling and really start for, and really put your time and your effort into what you're moving towards in the moving off in the future. OK, the two of pentacles is literally feeling like an energy of weighing up the past with the present current energetic space that you find yourself in. The two of pentacles is coupled with, yeah, see, the three of swords. And, and, and to be honest, this really, I don't know, obviously I'm not here to, to, to define anything for you. I'm just reading the energies for you. Ultimately, you have the choice to make the decision as to where you want to go with this moving forward. But quite honestly, the pain from the past is what you're weighing. Three of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Do I want to? Do I get want to get involved with that again? Do I want to do this any longer? Like this is painful. Why would I want to draw? Why would I want to dive back into the same pain that hurt me before? Exactly. Exactly, Capricorn. So I feel I feel like you're you're on the right wavelength here. Like there is such a thing as right or wrong, but you you get what I'm saying. It's the right the right wavelength for yourself, for your own personal growth and where it is you want to move forward towards. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading, you do have the, ooh, five of pentacles. A sense of lack mentality. Yeah, okay. I just heard remember your faith. Which makes sense because in this card here, you do have two individuals that are standing in front of what looks to be like some sort of spiritual center, a church, a communal event or a communal place or whatnot, whatever. Remember your faith. Do not allow yourself to sink back into this lack mentality because it's this, it's, it's this lack mentality that had you in this overburdened situation to begin with. And that lack mentality could definitely be translated into needing the approval of others. Five of wands, three of cups. And that was because of a lack of belief in yourself, feeling worthy enough, feeling whatever, okay? Five of Pentacles is coupled with exactly the Seven of Pentacles. Remember your faith. Remember what, remember what being in this place of not believing you were worthy, for, for, to boil it down for lack of a better term. Remember what it was like being here. Remember what all the work that you did just to get approval and the and the and the the, the measly re, uh, return you got on it, how you did, how it left you feeling even worse, even more of a sellout. I guess we could say. I don't say I don't use that term lightly. I'm not trying to offend anybody, but that's kind of what this energy feels like. 
Remember that. Remember how that made you feel. Remember the process that you went through only to end up somewhere you never wanted to be to begin with or you didn't plan on being to, get, be to plan on ending up to begin with there and that and that's there is also very much a, an energy here capricorn of i did what just want to say scorpio you might be dealing with a scorpio but there is very there's definitely some energies here of being led astray or feeling like you were baited and switched or and and that's where i got this energy of four of cups i don't want your empty promises any longer I'm moving on to something bigger and better. So if you find yourself, in terms of dealing with the past energies, if you find yourself slipping back into this energy of, well, maybe I can just like appease them for a little bit longer or whatnot, whatever, and that'll help me. That'll get me to where I want to go. Ultimately, no, that is not where you want to be going. Remember that. Remember those lessons. Remember what that felt like. And don't allow it to happen again. Don't allow it, don't allow it into your situation again because it's only going to do the same thing. The Seven of Pentacles is an energy of sometimes, and this is, I say this very often, but this, this is an energy of doing something the same way over and over again, but expecting to have a different result this time. Shit ain't never going to work. If it didn't work then, I highly doubt it's going to work now, okay? Especially if you're dealing with a romantic situation that is resurfacing or, or like coming out of, like rising, <laughs> rising from the dead. I doubt it. I doubt things have changed. Now, if you are going to enter back into a situation, at least don't enter it with a feeling of sense of lack, feeling like you're not good enough or this is all you're worthy of. Enter it into, into a state of awareness that reflects your, your focus in terms of what it is you truly deserving of and how you do have value here. You have a lot more value than people may be, may be honoring you with. You know what I mean? Any, and so let's say you do re-enter the situation, but you enter it from an empowered place. That's going to change the dynamic altogether. And quite frankly, I am feeling like when you do it that way, the situation is going to completely collapse. And not because you did anything wrong, but because you have changed your energetic alignment. And now you're not in a place to be manipulated by someone that just wants to feed off of you again. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Capricorn, let's get into your second half of your reading, yeah? So now we're looking at the current moment off into the future. First set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, you have the, excellent, the Ten of Swords. So the, the tough situation finally coming to an end. Good. Set Ten of Swords is coupled with, oh, the Four of Swords. I mean like deathy, death, 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 this shit is done. The Four of Swords can represent death, like a physical death. And I'm not sitting here trying to predict that someone in your life is going to die. I mean, everybody's going to die eventually, but that's not what we're getting at here. So like, slow your roll. <laughs> but um, literally, I, I am definitely seeing you, Capricorn, and I just heard putting the past to rest and leaving it there, not trying to resurrect it, Okay. Um, for some of you also, the Ten of Swords with the Four of Swords is representing an energy of meditating on the past, okay? Having, having completed the cycle, the situation, and meditating on it to, understand, to make sure you have a really deep understanding of what all of that meant for you so you can take that with you moving forward in the future. That is excellent. That is you learning from your mistakes. No. That is you learning from your experiences and then applying what you learned to the next phase of your life. Beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, in the second half of your reading, you have the Seven of Cups. Uh, this is speaking to options. Maybe confusion surrounding those options. Okay, that's I'm definitely hearing that, Capricorn, but at the same time, I do feel like the Seven of Cups energy, whatever options you may be faced with, moving forward, it's actually a really good thing. It's a very positive thing because these options are coming up in your life now that you have freed yourself from some sort of burdensome energy, okay? And yes, it may be overwhelming. Yes, it may be confusing because you don't, it's maybe too much to handle or so much to handle at once or you're not quite sure exactly yet which, which option you want to take, but it's still a good problem to have, I would say, okay? Seven of Cups is coupled with the High Priestess. Wonder, excitement, fulfillment. These are words I'm hearing here in relation to, to these two energies. And it's funny because this is falling on 
the first half, the, the second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading. So this is falling on the Four of Cups, rejection of an opportunity to the star. Rejection of an opportunity in 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 terms or in relation to or in um, in favor of, excuse me. So rejecting, good Lord, Jinx. My cat just brought in yet another lizard to the house. Anyway, I'm sorry. Rejecting an offer that's get, being provided to you in... Uh, in the, in the efforts towards moving something greater, something that is much more fulfilling for you. And then in the second half of your reading, you have those doors opening up for you. The High Priestess to the Seven of Cups. This feels like a reward for trusting your higher self, trusting your higher guidance, trusting the wisdom of the universe, and effectively letting go of something that you may have been holding on to in the past for out of a lack mentality type of energy, letting go of that in service of bringing something better or greater into your life that may still be shrouded in mystery, but again, this still feels like a good thing, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading, Capricorn, is the Knight of Wands moving forward passionately, uh, maintaining the drive to do so. This also does feel like that person coming back or that situation trying to rise from the dead coming back with all kinds of explosive or extra or powerful or excited energy. But I feel like that energy is going to fizzle out real quick. Okay, so be careful of that. Jinx, what is the problem? She lost her lizard. Yeah, her lizard has escaped under one of their cat beds and now she's sitting there like, hey, wait, come back, I wanna play. And the lizard's like, fuck no, I don't wanna play with you. You gonna kill me. <laughs> you gonna eat me, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, Capricorn. The Knight of Wands in your challenge is coupled with the Tower. Now, again, this is representing two things, two main things. First one is this person or this situation trying to come back with all kinds of fire that's just going to fizzle out quickly and you shutting it down. The second thing this challenge is representing is you keeping the drive going to create whatever it is new it is you create you're creating in your life while watching things crumble around you. But the things that crumble around you need to crumble because they that is creating space for whatever it is you are passionately moving forward towards, okay? That's excellent. Closing message or potential outcome for you Capricorn in the second half of your reading, you do have the ace of wands i love that you start your overall energy with the ten of wands and then we talk through all this we get through all this and we're finally leaving you with the ace of wands and that is definitely an aspect of letting go of past pain past hurts past struggles past strife in favor of taking up the wand or the opportunity towards creating something new or the wand of moving in a brand new direction the Ace of Wands is coupled with, okay, the Two of Swords. There could be denial here. No, it's not, it, well, okay, it is a level of denial, Capricorn, but it's denial of anything that is not in favor of this new direction you're moving in. And I think that's a very healthy place to be, given all of the stuff that we've been talking about here, okay? Excellent. I like this. I like this a lot, Capricorn. All right, I'm going to get you your closing guidance here. And I'm being, clo uh, uh, I'm being guided to get you closing guidance from this Sacred Destiny deck, yeah? Okie dokie. Five shuffles. One. Courage came out for you so far. Should we call you Courage the Cowardly Dog? No. I love that cartoon, though. This is two. Uh, but but Courage is definitely a strong... A strong... That was the message we wanted them to see. Oh, shit. Where is it now? Fuck. Hold on. That was your message. They're not even wanting me to um, shuffle it anymore. So I'm going to take that for you, Capricorn. But, just, but hold on a second, because I put it back in the deck, and now i got to find it. Oh no, oh no, bear with me Capricorn. 
Where is it? Where? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Eric, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that, though? Like, what's your problem, man? <sighs> Hold on, guys. I'm gonna get it. That's your message. I li like literally, I, I it fell out of the deck while I was trying to shuffle and I pulled it. I was just like, let's just look at it. And it was there. Ah, there it is. Um, and then I tried to shuffle more and the deck was like, no, we gave you the message. Oh, okay. So, but this, but, it, but if you think about it with all that we've been talking about here, Capricorn, this makes a hell of a lot of sense, right? Courage, ne having the courage and the strength to move forward, right? All right, cool. Let's read that then. Dar she blows. Okay. Courage. Right? That is courage. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the sacred landscape wants to you know wants you to know. Step forward, throw your shoulders back, and stand up for yourself with passion. Speak up for those less fortunate. Be impeccable in all your actions. This isn't the time to be timid and pulled back. Do not be limited by the beliefs of others. Use your passion to make a difference. Courage doesn't mean that you aren't afraid. Fearless means fearless. Not fearless meaning I have no fear, but fearless meaning fearless, like have like like don't fear as much. Fear space less, okay? Acknowledge your fear and take action anyway. Make a stand. You are strong and powerful and have great valor within you. Beautiful. All right, Capricorn, I'm leaving it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that in limited quantities this month. Make sure to get yourself in there. Check all the information in the description box below. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Bye. <laughs>